Hi, I'm Rhonda Rass with Tobacco Cabana in Cedar Hill, Texas. And I'm David. I'm a Texan. I love cigars. Enjoy the show. wondering why a cigar show is devoting an entire episode to feature a popular Mexican food chain, take another look at the spelling of Rhonda's shop. Tobacco Cabana is unique because in lieu of a walk-in humidor, Rhonda uses all of her interior wall space to display her generous selection of cigars, pipes, and pipe tobacco. More on her Texas exclusive assortment of pipes in a bit. While Rhonda runs the day-to-day -day operations at Tobacco Cabana, her husband Stephen drops in on occasion to help her out and uh, quality control and assurance of inventory integrity, wink wink. Together they embody the finest traditions of Texas hospitality, to which I can attest after they invited me to their shop in Cedar Hill to visit with Rhonda and talk cigars. Hey Rhonda. Steven? Hey, David. How's it going? Good. How good. are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to Come see in. You, sir. All right. How are you guys doing? Good. Welcome. How are you? It's a beautiful day in North Texas, right? It is. <laughs> I can't remember because uh, I, you know, we've been friends for a little while since you got in the shop. But how long ago was that? When? July first, twenty seventeen. Stephen and I bought the shop, and uh, we've just had. So such a good time. You know, I bought it and one week later I went to IPCPR and walked around for a whole week by myself trying to figure out what cigars were and Right, because you you were not a cigar smoker when you bought this place. How did you I mean Steven smoked pipes, mm -hmm. cigars. Steven smoked pipes and cigars right. for forever. Right. As long as I've known him. So it's yeah. like, okay, I'll buy a cigar shop for my husband, <laughs> right? Yeah, right. <laughs> right, but then you've learned to love cigars. Th speaking of cigars, mm -hmm. let's show um, everybody what you, you know, I, I, what they're going to notice when you come in here is you have cabinets instead of a walk-in humidor. Yes. Uh, you mm -hmm. have cabinets, so everything is just right there displayed, yeah. eye level, down, you know, to your feet. Mm -hmm. So. Pretty easy reading each and every cigar. Um, you have your own house blend, is that correct? I do. Uh, and I do. so, so how do the house blends work? I mean, what do you have? Uh, basically, we have six blends. Okay. Uh, so we have something for everybody. We've got a Connecticut. We've got a Maduro, a Habano. Uh, our Habano is kind of peppery. The Maduro is just a, a very aged kind of um, sweetened, rich flavor. Connecticut, of course, is mild and creamy. We have the Sumatra, which mm -hmm. is a sweet spice. Yeah, I love a Sumatra. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then um, also in the in the full, we have a San Andreas and our Criollo 99. Criollo, inside. that's just fun to say. Criollo. Criollo. Yeah, I, mean, I right. had to get help with it in the beginning. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I mean, looking at your house blend, you're mm -hmm. looking at four, $4.50 a stick and $5 a stick and six. And this yeah. is made by I mean, this is made by Icon, right? Mm -hmm. Iconic Leaf like, yes. uh, makes them. They also roll uh, Recluse. Recluse. Cigars, so. I just had, you know, a good Recluse uh, um, Lancero the other day. Been sitting there for a while. Mm -hmm. It's it. That's a good stick. Yeah. So um, yeah. they are. Um, they're into bar rolled, which is a, a way of rolling the cigars. So instead of taking the the filler tobacco and crunching it up and then wrapping it with the binder. They actually take each leaf and roll it up like a little straw, straw, and then they put the straws together and bind those. And so you should have a good draw. Always going to have a great draw. I mm -hmm. think another one um, that I appreciate that always has a good straw uh, draw like that that we've had in in, in the store mm -hmm. was uh, Christoph Cigars, mm -hmm. the owner. Christoph Glenn Case. Yeah, Glenn Case was in here. Great guy to talk to. Oh, yeah. I love some of the thought that goes into. His, where did it go? Here it is. Ah. The pissed off Kristoff. And that's actually the extremely pissed this off. This is the, ex n yes, so, so the, it was an pissed off Kristoff and now it's extremely pissed off Kristoff. It's got an extra two inches. On an it. extra two inches. 
Lijero, correct? Mm -hmm. Very Lijero. Yeah, <laughs> that is a very full-bodied cigar. Yes, mm -hmm. that's um, too much for me. <laughs> that's well, a, that's a good size smoke. But I do like the way he makes them. He, you know, always a close foot. Mm -hmm. I have never ever had a Kristoff that did not draw correctly. Right. And that's right. what I enjoy yeah. thoroughly about and that. And that's back to being uh, rolled in that particular into bar fashion. Right. So we are a little bit different. Um, what we do, since we don't have a walk-in humidor, is we have, of course, the, the uh, cases, the cabinets. But past that, we kind of start here at the front and everything is more or less alphabetized. Uh, so you could find your acids here, you can find your um, AJs and your ABs and all mm -hmm. of that, and they're kind of in alphabetic order. But past that, we put on a label for each one of them, and we color code it. So the uh, red ones are a full body, the blue ones are a medium, and the green ones are a mild. Okay. Uh, we also put notes on there, so you'll know what's in the tobacco of each one. Okay. But So you're never gonna come into our shop if you're a full body cigar smoker and walk out with something light or medium because you, you didn't know what it was. Um, opposite of that is true as well. If you're a brand new smoker and you've never smoked anything, mm -hmm. you're not gonna walk out of here with something that's gonna make you sick. Right, and you that's know? what you want from any good tobacco mm -hmm. uh, cigar store is you want a knowledgeable staff, but what you're actually doing is, is putting a lot of that knowledge right out here um, you know, if somebody else is busy with a customer and, and it's, you know, several people in here, well, I can read this for myself and I can tell, you know, uh, okay, I want to go towards this cigar if I haven't had that particular one. Right. So we got cigars over here mm -hmm. and then we have pipes. Uh, pipes. And we don't, there's not a lot of um, cigar shops that actually carry, they might carry a few uh, pipes and, mm -hmm. and pipe tobacco and things, but you, you guys have a pretty good selection of we pipes. Do. Are you, you guys are a rep for this one? Which one is this? Uh, this is Kirsten. Kirsten. We are the only Texas distributor of Kirsten pipes. And so um, Kirsten, because I'm, I'm not really a heavy duty pipe guy, I do have some pipes, mm -hmm. but what is it about Kirsten pipes? Let me show you. So this is their 80th anniversary that they collaborated with Suge, who is a, a, a major pipe player in, okay. from Japan. Okay. So they collaborated with him the company's been around 80 years and they wanted to do an anniversary type. Mm -hmm. They made 80 for the U.S. and 80 for Japan. And this one is number 16 for the oh. U.S. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That is, yeah. that's a gorgeous It's gorgeous. Pipe. And, you know, I think a, a thing about a pipe is how it feels in your hand. Mm -hmm. Of course, the mouthpiece, too, how it sets in your bite. Um, I'm going to show you a few things, so. Okay. Um, Number one, this is your filter. It acts like a radiator, okay? So okay. it cools the smoke. Um, this is how you would adjust the draw while you're smoking. That Just kind of turning it and opening and closing the hole some. Mm -hmm. ah. Right there. Wow. So you can do that as you're smoking. Okay, so all the, the, the bowls and the stems are all interchangeable. But look at that. If you wanted to clean that, all you do is take a tissue right down through the center. I like that. It's a gorgeous pipe, too. And then, because sometimes as you smoke a pipe, you'll get some of the tar and the, the saliva and stuff that kind of collect in the bottom. But you can see it's never going to go back up. Okay. So you'll never have any of that. The other thing is it's flat. It's going to sit on mm. any surface. Not my hand, but it's going to sit on any surface. Right. Most and pipes need a stand it. or something. Mm -hmm. You can turn it. If it's more comfortable for you to sit this way, you can smoke it that way. Right. With a pipe, because you pack how much you want, you can pack a five-minute smoke, smoke, up to an hour smoke. Right. One thing that's cool, I don't know uh, a lot of people, if they realize, I mean, if a cigar goes bad, if it goes stale and it stays out and you you haven't humidified it correctly, it's, it's you're, you might as well toss it because to try to get a cigar back is almost, you just can't do it. But if pipe tobacco dries out, you throw a humidifier back in there, it's charged right back up. Well, and what we, what we kind of advise is to take your pouch 
and take a few slices of a, not necessarily slices of an apple, but slices of the core, I'm, I'm the, the peel. Peel. Take the peel, put it in there, close it up 24 or 48 hours, and then take that out. Hmm. And that's enough humidity to, to revitalize. Revitalize it. And you've got, what, I mean, what is, it's probably, it got to be at least about 100 uh -huh. hundred different tobaccos for pipe. Uh -huh. A hundred at least, because we've got the, the loose tobaccos. We have lots of tins. Well, if anybody's coming in here, do you have a place to smoke? I do. Do? Yes. Okay. Where, where would that be? Right back here. Okay. We have um, a lounge, and right now they are smoking and watching TV. <laughs> Um, it is a 24-hour lounge to the members. The retail store doesn't have to be open for the lounge to be open. They have a key. Oh, they have an, uh, an access uh, back here. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hey, Hi guys. guys. How's it going? Hey. How are y'all? All right. So they've got access here 24-7. Mm -hmm. And then all their personal lockers uh -huh. The lockers over here. are, hu are um, humidified. Okay. So they can keep cigars there. And... Uh, TVs, what TVs, what everybody needs, lounge chairs, lounge chairs, exactly, everything you need, cutters, lighters, yes. and uh, ashtray. Well guys, I appreciate it. You've got everything that a cigar or pipe smoker mm -hmm. wants in the area, but before we leave, mm -hmm. I, I have to ask you about the cash the register. The cash register? I mean, you don't yeah. see those things. <laughs> in a shop every day. No, that's I our mean, little gym. This cash register is a national. Um, I mean, how old is it? It was built in 1910. Wow. Yeah. And it is heavy, right? <laughs> it's not going anywhere, right? <laughs> It no. is gorgeous, and that's a, I mean, that's like a showcase piece to me. Yeah. Um, and it's fun. You get to push the buttons. <laughs> you have to push the buttons and then crank the wheel. Boom. And then it opens up. Yeah. And, then, so and you it's, can tell the drawers. Look at these old real drawers, old rollers. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember this stuff from my granddad's uh, mm -hmm. store that he used to have in Wichita Falls. Yeah. And you'd have registers like this. That's, that's just beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, so we love our register, and we found most all of the history on it. Um, it was, before we got it, it was used in a gun shop up in Snyder Plaza. Wow. And uh, they had to convert over to a, an electronic POS system. And so, um, so we got it, and we love it. We really think it adds to I think so. Yeah, I think so too. It's it's a gorgeous piece. Yeah. Well, Rhonda, I appreciate you letting me come into the store. Well, thanks for and coming in. Yes. I appreciate it. Yes, yeah. definitely. If you're ever in the area, Cedar Hill, you need to stop by Tobacco Cabana. They're going to have what you're looking for, and the staff is fantastic. Make sure to find Tobacco Cabana on social media to follow and give them a like. And whenever you're in Cedar Hill, stop in and say hi to Rhonda, and maybe even Stephen, both of whom embrace our motto, enjoy the leaf, grow the culture. The Texas Cigar Roadshow is brought to you by the North Texas Cigar Society.